opacity. I have no idea why, but I just love saying it. Opacity. Hey Power Director peeps, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director love from PowerDirectorUniversity.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change the opacity in your videos using Power Director 17. If you're looking for a way to make things transparent or opaque in Power Director, I want you to put hashtag transparency opacity in the comment section below. All right, Power Director peeps, I kept you waiting long enough. Let's jump off into the software and make it happen. Here we are in Power Director 17. Before we get started, I want to remind you to subscribe to Power Director University to see great tips and tricks just like this every Saturday. And if you subscribe, don't forget to click on the bell to get notifications every single time I upload content to YouTube. I'm going to be as transparent as possible with this tutorial. Opacity can be used to blend videos, make items appear or make items disappear and more. The higher the opacity, the less light comes through. This makes the item less transparent. The lower the opacity, the more light comes through. This makes the item more transparent. In previous versions of PowerDirector, you had to go into the PIP designer to change the opacity of an image or a video clip. Well, you can kiss those days adios, because now we can change the opacity of a video clip or an image right on the timeline, making our editing workflow much more efficient. So in this video, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to change the opacity from the timeline. As you can see here, I have a stressed out woman. She is stressed out out y'all just stress look at her stress i'm stressed out and above her on the timeline i have a storm brewing so what i want to do is i want to blend the stressed out woman with the stormy situation that i have in the timeline to kind of enhance the feeling of stress so i need to go ahead and add some keyframes and some opacity to mix it up and blend them two together so what i'm going to do is i'm going to place my playhead at a position where I know I want to start the opacity or kind of lock down the beginning of the clip. And I think when she puts her hands up on her head, it's a pretty good spot for me. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna left click on this clip to activate it. And now if I place my cursor over this green line, you can see that it says opacity 100. And it tells you, hold down the control key, you know, to add a keyframe. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna place my cursor where the playhead is. I'm gonna hold down my control key and you see it turns into a little black dot and I'm gonna left click on that and boom, now I have a keyframe there. So now the next thing I wanna do is I wanna pick a position where I want the transparency to stop and I want it to go back to being 100% um, visible. So I'm gonna move my playhead to that position and I think eh, right about here when she's moving her hands off of her face, it's a pretty good spot. Once again, I'm going to place my cursor where I want to add the keyframe, hold down my left mouse, and I'm going to left click, and boom, now I have a keyframe there. So the next thing I need to do is I need to add keyframes to actually add the transparency in, because these two keyframes that I have right now are really locking down the position of where the clip will not be transparent. So I'm just gonna place my cursor on the green line a little bit after that first keyframe and I'm going to hold down my left mouse and I'm going to left click to add a keyframe there and then I'm going to bring my cursor a little bit before that last keyframe hold down my control key and I'm going to left click so now I have added some additional keyframes to go ahead and make it more transparent between this middle section here so in order to make it more transparent I need to drag these keyframes down to a transparency or opacity percentage that I want. So I'm going to place my cursor over the keyframe until I see a red dot, hold down my left mouse and I'm going to drag it down and you can see the number there, which is the percentage of opacity. So it's telling me where I'm at and I think I'm going to go down to 70%. So I let go of my left mouse and I'm going to move my cursor over the other keyframe 
till I see that red dot, hold down my left mouse and I'm gonna drag this one down till I come to 70. And I want these two to be the same transparency. So basically what's gonna happen is it's gonna fade down to 70%. It's gonna be 70% between these two keyframes and it's gonna fade back up to 100%. So if I just kinda scrub the timeline real slow here, you can see the effect which you also saw at the beginning of the video. And then it fades back up to 100%. We are good to go. So that's how you go ahead and blend two video clips. As you can see, it's blending, showing the stormy situation and it's showing the female that's stressed out at the same time. Blenderific, yes, I know, blenderific. So now what I wanna do is I want to do something with this clip and this image. So at the top, I have a clip of two friends who were, you know, I guess they, they, they were playing ball. They're a little tired. They take a little break, take a little break. And then I have an image of a basketball. It's a little picture of a basketball below them that I want to actually, let's say I want that to not be on the screen. And then I want it to show up and then I want it to disappear. So, in order to do that, basically it's the same process, it's just kind of like the opposite way around. So the first thing that I wanna do on this one is I wanna left click on the clip to activate it. I wanna place my cursor over the opacity line, the green line, and I'm gonna left click and I'm gonna drag it down all the way down to zero. And now you can see that the ball disappears. You can't see it anymore. It's gone, poor little ball. But now what I wanna do is I wanna add some keyframes. So the first keyframe I wanna add at the beginning, so I'm gonna hold down my left mouse and I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna make sure that this keyframe is dragged all the way to the beginning and stays at zero so that I can't see it. And then I wanna go ahead and add another keyframe here. So I'm gonna left click, hold down my control key. I added a keyframe there. So between here and here, it's going to be invisible. And then I wanna add another keyframe to make it visible. So I'm gonna hold my cursor over the green line, hold down my control key and click, boom. So now I have an extra keyframe in there that I'm gonna bring up to probably 100% to make it fully visible. Uh, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on this end. I'll go ahead and hold down control, add my keyframe at the end. Drag it all the way to the end and make sure it's down to 100. Add another keyframe here. And add another keyframe here. Now this is where it's gonna fade on and in between these two lines is where the ball will be visible. So now I'm gonna place my cursor over the keyframe until I see the red dot. I'm gonna hold down my left mouse and I'm gonna drag this up to 100. I'm gonna do the same thing on this one. See the red dot, hold down my left mouse, drag it up to 100. So now when we play this back, what will happen is the ball will be invisible, then it'll show up and fade onto the screen, it'll be on the screen at 100%, it'll fade off the screen, and it will not be visible. And you could have done it the other way around too if you wanted it to be visible and then invisible, you just invert everything, how I did the keyframes. So basically, that's how you get down with your opacity and your transparency for your stuff. Now, keep in mind, let's say I wanted to, I was moving the, um, I don't know, the keyframes up and down and I couldn't get it to land on a specific number that I wanted. You can always modify your keyframes by double clicking on a clip that has the keyframes added. So I double left click, then it brings me into the PIP designer. And then here on the timeline, you can see the opacity settings and you can see the keyframes that I added. So if I want to, I can click on them and move them. If I click on one of them, I could come over here to opacity and I could change the percentage. You can see this one's at 70% and this one's at 70%. I can change those if I want. So I can make modifications just by opening up the PIP designer and tweaking things if I wanna be a little bit more precise. So I'm gonna hit cancel. 
Now, another thing you might want to know how to do is delete or remove keyframes. So I can easily delete keyframes if I place my cursor over one of the keyframes and I hold down the control key and I left click on it, it'll remove it. Also, if I place my cursor over a keyframe and I left click on it and drag it up until it shows a little trash bin and let it go, it'll delete it that way as well. And the third and final way that you can remove keyframes, you see I still have two keyframes on here. If I right click on an image and choose edit image, then I can choose restore to original opacity level and it'll remove all of the keyframes at once. So you can do the same thing with the video, except of course it's not gonna say edit image. If I right click on it, it'll say edit video, and then I can go to restore original opacity level there. And now everything's back to normal and we good to go. And that, my friends, is how you quickly make transparent video using PowerDirector 17. Don't forget to check out more of my content to learn how to use PowerDirector. If you decide that you like PowerDirector 17 and you wanna buy or upgrade to the software, I'll leave some links in the video description that you can use to purchase it. There are links to purchase the standalone version and links to purchase the subscription version. Now, those are affiliate links, so if you use them, I'll get a small commission, which will help me continue to create content that teaches you how to use PowerDirector. You'll pay the same price as if you went to the site on your own, so if you wanna help me, help you use the affiliate link. All right, Power Director peeps, I wanna thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. If you have any tutorials that you'd like me to make, head over to the video description and complete my tutorial request form. Now, if you got any comments, questions, you just wanna talk or chop it up with your boy, leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, if you want more tips, more tricks, and more edumacation on Power Director, you gotta watch more of my content so you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.